God, am I the a for calling my brother's girlfriend a gold digger after she Googled the cost of our Christmas gifts? My brother James has a girlfriend, Lindsay, who he's been dating for several months. He decided to bring her to Christmas at my house, stay over at Christmas Eve, and then leave the next day after lunch. I met Lindsay for drinks before this, and she seemed nice. Throughout the evening, she asked several questions centered around money. She asked my husband how much he paid for our house, my stepdad how much money he made in his previous job, and how much my watch cost. She even Googled one of our art pieces to see how much it sold for and started talking about how crazy it was that we spent that much, which frankly was very uncomfortable. My stepdad pulled my brother aside and asked if there was a problem, and my brother just said it was normal for her to do that, but he'd say he'd speak to her about it. On Christmas morning, we gathered round to open presents, and thankfully, Lindsay didn't say anything untoward, so I figured James had spoken to her about her intrusive questions. However, at lunch, we were talking about plans for January, and Lindsay loudly said she didn't know how we could afford to do anything in January, as she added up the total we'd spent on gifts, and then proudly proclaimed the total amount. The whole table went silent. I honestly was equally parts shocked and annoyed that someone could be so ignorant. I looked at Lindsay and said, you are the world's most diligent gold digger. Seriously, would you like to be the family accountant since you're already tracking expenses? Lindsay stuttered out an apology and tried to explain, but my stepdad just changed the conversation and we moved on. She was mercifully quiet the rest of dinner. After they left, my brother messaged me saying I'd really upset Lindsay and was out of line with what I said. I argued that he said he talked to her and he clearly didn't. Not that someone should have needed guidance to know how crass her comments were. He's saying I owe both of them an apology, but I think Lindsay's behavior was disgraceful. My parents say Lindsay was wrong, but I probably could have said something in private, or they could have, and I shouldn't have said something in front of everyone. Am I the asshole? I personally think she is, she is the asshole, but not as big of an asshole as the other person. I kind of agree with the parents out of anyone in this. I think they're both wrong. Because I think Lindsay is super weird for asking all these questions and saying all that. But I also just don't think the time to bring it up is like mid-Christmas dinner. You don't want to roadhouse your sister-in-law mid-Christmas dinner? No, you know, personally, that's not really how my family does it. Maybe they met for drinks like once or something. But then the first like family event, she's just spending the entire time talking about money and their money. Right, right. And it makes it a little uncomfortable. I mean... My best friend doesn't know how much I make, so why would I want to tell my brother's new girlfriend? So another thing I was thinking of, is she, is she really a gold digger for, she hasn't asked for money. She just noticed how much money they spent. You know, so is that really being a gold digger? I'm confused on Lindsay's intentions by adding this stuff up. Because I would think if you were a gold digger, you wouldn't say anything out loud about it. Because right. like, you'd, be happy that they had money, essentially. So you wouldn't like call them out for it like that, right? At least well, that's not what I would think. Unless she's worried that they're spending too much of the money that she wants. And she won't get it. True. Ooh. Think of how she had to like track all of that. Was she just in her notes typing like toothpaste, 150. Honestly. Toothbrush, 99 cent. Toaster, pots <laughs> and pans. King size Reese's cup. The OP is actually maybe more, you know, just not confronting her, but instantly calling her a gold digger is a, a little bit malicious. I think it's absolute heat. That's good swing <laughs> right there. She just full scented, just did not care. I respect the confidence going for that one. I do agree, like, you should probably say something behind closed doors, but if you're going to call her out, go for it. So you're like, she's making me uncomfortable, let me hurt her feelings. But in my head, she like stood up at the table and was like pointing across the table yelling like at her. pounding her hands on the desk yeah, kind like of thing. face red smoke coming out of the ears type but of do thing. Do you just want to be our family accountant or what? I agree there is no social setting where that should be acceptable but also yelling at someone over Christmas dinner is not acceptable. I do think it's funny that she just walked in and was like hey I like your tree. How much did that cost? The way I pictured they were like mid conversation right sitting there like couches. Mm -hmm. She looks up and sees a picture whips out her phone somehow how do you even google an art picture i don't know what to type in do you just type in like man standing next to woman art it's like how do you find that i, I find it interesting that she wants to know the price of everything is she just wanting to come back and case your house is she you know gonna come back later that night and steal everything she's actually just announcing everything they're gonna wake up in the morning everything she's talked about gone, gone. i don't know what she's doing with it. just how she's stealing a christmas tree anyways is it the she, grinch she's like what's she's happening <laughs> Lindsay equals the Grinch. That's what we've concluded here. <laughs> Lindsay is at fault because she is the Grinch. And I guess her boyfriend, the brother, is the little dog on the Grinch. Just, the dog. <laughs> just following her around.
Like, it's fine. It's, it's all fine. But if you're gonna start drama, at least full send it. And she did full send it. I mean, yeah, go big or go home, right? Christmas is about to be Auburn next year. <laughs> I think both of them and even the brother. Let's throw the brother in there. Let's just take everybody down. You're that the Lord that It's, it's like Oprah. <laughs> Lindsay tier one, OP tier two, and then we're lobbing the brother in there a little bit. Yeah, he's like tier three. Like, he's that too. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button.